Okay, so this is just to clarify um, and, and highlight what the actual point is here, okay? And I'm, I'm going to try and make it as simple as I can for you. So, whether you claim electrostatics, gravity, magnetism or density as being the cause of the downward vector and, you know, objects, you know, appearing to fall towards the earth. And every one of these claims, these claims are claiming that when I let go of this bottle, it's the bottle and its contents that are going towards the earth, which implies that there's an acceleration at play. Okay? That's what they're claiming. Electrostatics, magnetism, gravity, or density. They're all claiming that there's something that's making this go towards the earth. Okay? My problem is, is that in every example of acceleration, right, regardless of whether you use it centrifugal, where you, you spin it, you get a movement of the water displacing from the air to the outer reaches in a rotation, or if I move it linearly and I accelerate it in any direction, any direction at all, you get a, a push of the liquid towards the back and the air moves towards the front in the direction of the acceleration every single time, 100% of the time. That's a fact, right? People, when you let the bottle go, there is no displacement. The water stays exactly where it is. If this was being accelerated downwards, then the water would move towards the top and the air would move towards the bottom. That's what happens in cases of acceleration with liquids and gas. It's not a solid. Okay? If I froze that and the water was now solid and I'd done it, then everything would remain in place. But it's gas and it's liquid. This is how they behave. Okay? These people who are, are promoting the idea that this is being accelerated down are, are promoting an idea which is no observed to us. It's no something we can demonstrate. There is no accelerative way or force that I can, you know, accelerate the bottle, the gas and the liquid all at the same rate with no displacement occurring. In all cases of acceleration with gas and liquid, you get displacement. That's a fundamental fact that you can verify, test and check for yourself. When the bottle is let go, no displacement occurs. It remains the exact same as if it's no moving anywhere until it comes into contact with the ground. Okay? So if you're going to claim electrostatics, gravity, magnetism or density, you're claiming that there's an acceleration happening when I let this go that pushes it towards the earth or takes it towards the earth. Now in your claim, you're having to claim some specialness, special pleading for special circumstances, special, non-observed, non-demonstrable forces at play that can accelerate everything here at the same rate with no displacement occurring. To me, that's preposterous. If you can demonstrate it to me, fine. But you can't demonstrate it. A simple observation shows you that there is no acceleration downwards unless you're going to lend yourself to pseudo-scientific fantasy beliefs and tractor beam type technology that can accelerate the gas, the liquid in the bottle at the same rate and no displacement occurs. It's not reality. Hope that helps.